who was just here, Rox? Were the Lowe's guys here? And what did they bring us? Got our new dishwasher. Nice little whirlpool. I don't know if you can see that through there. But this is going to be awesome. No more doing dishes. Over here is where we're putting it. These two drawers. There used to be a dishwasher in there, but the previous owner decided they wanted drawers instead of a dishwasher. So the father-in-law is coming up. He's going to take those out, and we're going to install this today. And Roxy's going to get some water. Here's what this looks like with the drawers taken out. What do you think? What do you think, Helper? You helping me out? Okay. This is what it looks like with the drawers taken out. Got the top and bottom out, and as you can see here on the sides, it's got like these runners. This is how the drawers were going out. I'm taking those out, which I did up here, and then this is going to come out. And we're probably going to have to we're going to break this wood out here, break this all out, and the dishwasher should fit in there real nice. If you want to see what our old floor looked like before the previous owner replaced it, this was it. So I'm pretty happy they did because that is ugly. And then that right there is where the electric line is going to come up and we're going to run the water over to the sink here. So it should work out real nice and we're going to have a dishwasher. Woohoo! Okay, a little bit further in our project here. You can see we have all the wood broken out around there and it's ready to go in. We already put it in once just to see if it fits and it does. So we just got to go to Lowe's and get a few parts to install the water and get the electrical done. Under here you can see that we ran the electric line and also the water line down from the dishwasher into the basement here. And then this is the water line which runs over here to a shutoff valve and then that runs down there to the rest of our water. And the electric line is uh, running through right through there so that just runs along with all the other wires that are under here. So we got the wiring and the water part finished. The next step is just to put it in. Then just to show the rest of it, this is where the electric runs into. It runs into our fuse box and it's that breaker right there with the light on it. We got that all put in. Our, par our parents' neighbor is an electrician so he did it all for free. But we got it all set up down here and we're good to go. And here's what it looks like under the sink. That is the water line running over here. We bought this special made that uh, just drains down with the regular water there. Okay, here's what it looks like all installed. Fits in there pretty nice along, along the sides, but we did have a major, major, major issue once we installed it. Under here, it started leaking from the center of the unit under there. It wasn't any of the piping that we did or anything. It was just a problem with the unit itself. So we called Lowe's and they basically told us since this was a special order item, uh, and it was 30 days for us to get this, that would be another 30 days to get a new one put in. So uh, we called them last night again uh, with the corporate office and they said they'd get back to us within 24 hours to maybe resolve this a little bit faster and have somebody come and pick up this one and bring us a new one. But uh, everything's ready to go and it's it's in there so I guess we got a dishwasher sort of and this is what it looks like inside. We unbolted it from the top. It was bolted in there but since they were removing it we took it out. And that's what the inside of it looks like. So if you're looking to get one of these, can't really recommend it right now because of the issues we had. But maybe once we have it all set up and have a decent one in here, we won't have any problems and we'll have a dishwasher.